So Luke Combs just dropped an album full of dad songs. I'm a father of three, if you didn't know that, so I had to listen to it. I'm going to show you to play one of them right now. It's called Remember Him That Way. It's in standard tuning with a capo on the fourth fret and uses some pretty easy chords. All right, we're going to start with the intro, and the basic chord we're going to use is a G chord. So we got third fret low E, third fret B, third fret high E. Lightly touch the A string so it doesn't ring out, and you're going to use your index finger for a quick hammer on a couple times throughout. So we're going to start by plucking an open D string, and use your index finger to hammer on to the second fret. Then you're going to pluck open G, and then come back down to D. So it's really fast. The reason you want to have that G shape is because you're going to start strumming right after that. So the strumming pattern you're going to do after that initial lick is going to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then we're going to do another down strum, but hammer on to the second fret of the D string again, and then go down up one more time. So when you do that hammer on, it's going to go. So the whole G chord, when we get to it, is going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And that's where that hammer on is. So with that intro lick. Now from here, we're going to do another down strum, but move your index finger to the second fret of the low E string. And when you do that strum, you're going to hammer on to the third fret to get back to that G chord. So it's going to be. And then you're going to repeat that same strumming pattern we just did, like this. So I'll play the whole intro all together a little bit slower. Now at the end of the intro, you're starting into that verse with that same hammer on from the second fret of the low E to the third fret. You won't have to do that intro look again. That part. So now regular speed. Now if you got that down, the verse is going to be really easy because you're just continuing that second half of the intro. So we're going to start with the second fret of the low E string and do that initial hammer on on the down strum. And then continue the strumming pattern. So the verse sounds like this. There's an old man in a lazy the verse. Now the next part that changes is going to be the pre-chorus or the hook. It's going to sound like this. There's a little more soul in his gold, a little less rock in his roll these days. So it's a lot of chord switching, but your fingers stay pretty much where they're at. You just switch the bass note that you're starting with. So we're going to do a version of an E minor 7. You just need the 2nd fret of the B string and keep the 3rd fret B and high E string fretted. We're going to strum down, up, down, up, and then we're going to switch to the next one, which is just the bass note. So E minor 7 is just going to go down, up, down, up, and then we're going to switch to a variation of a D over F sharp. All you got to do is move your index finger to the 2nd fret of the low E string, lightly touch the A string so it doesn't ring out, and we're going to go down, up, down, up, down. So we still have the same strumming pattern we did in the intro and the verse, but we're just doing different chord. So we got. Now the next chord we're going to go to is a C add 9. So now our bass note is just the 3rd fret of the A string. You're going to lightly touch the D string this time so it doesn't ring out. We're going to go down, up, down, up. And then we're going to go to a B over G chord, which is just the 2nd fret of the A string. Looks like an E minor 7, but we're not playing the low E again. And this one is also going to go down, up, down, up. So from C add 9 to B over G. Now we're going to move to a regular G chord, but leave the A string open. When you do that initial down strum, we're going to do a hammer on to the 2nd fret. And we're going to go down, down, up. So it's real quick. Now we're going to move 
move to a variation of an A minor 7. This is the most challenging chord in the song. It's just open A, 2nd fret D, open G, 1st fret B, and then 3rd fret high E. If you can't do the 3rd fret high E, don't worry about it. That's just an octave of the G string. And when we get here, we're just going to strum down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. After this, we go to a D chord. So now we got open D, 2nd fret G, 3rd fret B, 2nd fret high E. This one we're going to strum down, up, down, up, down, and let it ring out. So from A minor 7 to D. And now I'll play the whole thing all together a little bit slower. regular speed. There's a little more slow in his go, a little less rock in his roll these days. And then you get into the chorus. Alright, for the chorus we're going to start with the C add 9. So we got 3rd fret A, 3rd fret B, and high E. Lightly touch the D string so it doesn't ring out. We're going to continue the strumming pattern we've been using. So it's going to go down, up, down, up, down. But I remember him ten feet tall, bulletproof, throwing me a ball of cowboy boots. From here we're going to switch to a G chord, and you can just play a regular G all the way through, strum it the same way we just did, or you can add the hammer-ons that we were doing in the verse. So two ways to play it. This is no hammer-ons whatsoever. Or with the hammer-ons. A whistle and the dogs start running. A whisper and mom starts blushing. Now we're going to go back to the C add 9 chord for the next part. A wrench in his hand and a beer in the other. God could have make a man and tougher. The next part changes. So where he says, and that S on his chest is starting to fade, we're going to use G, D, and then that A minor 7 that we did before. So starting with that G chord, we're going to strum down, up, down, up, switch to D, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, and then A minor 7, down, up, down, up, down. The chorus is a little bit different than what we've done all together. It sounds like this. But I'll always remember him that way. So we're going to start with the C at 9. You're going to strum down, let it ring for a beat, and then come back up, and then you're going to switch to the B over G, which is just the second fret of the A string. Lightly like touch the low E so it doesn't ring out, and do the same thing. Now we're going to switch to an E minor 7 over A. Sounds complicated, but all you got to do is move your index finger to the 2nd fret of the D string. Leave the A string open this time. 3rd fret B and high E stay there. You're just going to do the same thing there too. And then finally we're going to go to a regular D chord and do the same thing. Down, up. If you want to, you can just do single down strums. But I like to play it with that extra up strum in there. So, all together to go. Now, after you hit that D chord, we're going to go right back into the strumming pattern we did for the verse. So, all together, the last part is played like this. But I'll always Now 
now I'm going to play the chorus all the way through so you can play along and practice. So that's everything you need to know to play this song. If you want to check out the tabs, they're available on my website for free. The link is in the description. If you have any questions or would like to make a request, you can do so by leaving a comment below. Please put hashtag request. It makes it easier for me to find later when I'm searching my comments. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. And I will see you in the next video. In the time it took me to learn this song, this video has gotten about 5,000 views. I wish I could get that many.